like a good one. Better get a hold or something. Our such for breaking the storm. Fire off! As Lara would find time and again, the end of one journey always leads to the beginning of another, and what appears to be an unfortunate ending may in fact be the start of a beneficial turn of events. Get in there! Lyra, I'm scared. It's okay, Pam. I'll stay in the light. will come rescue us, won't he? I sure hope so. Let me check the alethiometer. It's all falling into place.
that? <laughs> Speak up! Speak up! I could use one of these. What's your name? Jotham Santilia. Hi, I'm the Regius Professor of Cosmology at the University of Gloucester. And who are you? My name is Lyra Balacqua. I'm from Jordan College in Oxford. What? Oxford? Is that scoundrel Trelawney still there? Hmm? The Palmerian Professor? Yes. Duplicitous plagiarist! Cockham! Has he published his paper on gamma ray photons yet? I'm not sure. I don't understand that stuff anyway. I'm more interested in bears. Do you know anything about them? A fair bit, I must say. More than that blackguard Trelawney. What does he even know of Yorick Bernison? I expect Yorick Bernison will be excited to see you then. He's on his way here now. Impossible! Yorick has no privileges as a bear anymore. King Ragnar will have him killed by fire hurlers before he gets close. He can't. Do you know about the other prisoners? Like Lord Asriel? I wouldn't mention that name aloud if I were you. Let's just say he's kept out of the way. But he's safe. No, 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 no more talking! That's right. I remember now. What? When the Palmerian professor was talking about Ragnar all that time ago, he mentioned what Ragnar wanted more than anything else. A demon. Are you okay? I just had the most terrible dream. About Yorick? Yes. But I think I have a plan to help him. I'll need you to stay quiet and hide though. Okay. Hello? Hello there. What? Take me to Ragnar. You'll be in trouble if you don't. It's very urgent. <laughs> it's about Yurik Bernison. I know something about him. And the King needs to know. Tell me what it is, and I'll pass the message on. That wouldn't be right. 
not for someone else to know before the king does. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude, but you see, it's the rule that the king has to know things first. You'd better not be lying, for your sake. If you stay close, you will be safe. If you stray, perhaps not. Keep up. Move faster. I do not like waiting for little girls. Oh, look at that. No one is granted access to King Ragnar. You bears need to improve the communication in this palace. I already told the other bear I have a message for King Ragnar. What? Well, I've heard nothing of this. I, perhaps I... Well, what is the message? I already told the other guy, um, Bear, it's really important. Oh, it won't hurt to let you inside then, but do not waste the king's time. Our greetings to you, great king. Or, 
I mean, my greetings, not his. Not whose? Yurik Bernison's, Your Majesty. I've got something very important and secret to tell you. And I think I ought to tell you in private, really. Something about Yorick Bernison? Something about demons. Ah, leave us! I need something fast. Well, tell me who you are. What is this about demons? I am a demon, Your Majesty. Who? I'm Yurik's demon, but I don't want to be his. I'd much rather be yours. This doesn't make sense. I was told bears couldn't have demons. How did he get one? Heard of Bolvanger, of course. Yurik offered himself for an experiment to see if they could make a demon for him. And they did. It was me. My name is Lyra. I should have been the one to volunteer for that experiment. But wait, how are you so far from him? easy. I can go far from him because I'm like a witch's demon. You know how they can go hundreds of miles from their humans? It's like that. Prove it. Prove you are a demon. Tell me, what was the first creature I killed?
So that's what that means. Let's see, what do we have here? I didn't know you were so strong and great. The first creature you killed was your own father. You know! Mm. You can see! Yes. Because I'm a demon. Like I said, I can see things. I can see into Yurik's mind. Yurik! Where is he now? On Svalbard. He's coming this way as fast as he can. Why? What does he want? He must be mad! We'll tear him to pieces! He wants me back, but I want to stay here with you. The fool. He'll soon be killed, and then I'll travel to Balvanger to get the demon of my own. Please, Your Majesty, you must listen to me. After the people at Balvanger saw how powerful the bear with the demon was, they decided never to do the experiment ever again. You can't just kill him, or you'll never have a demon. Could that be true? But... Maybe you really are a demon. Wait, another test. What did the Lady Coulter promise me when she was here? This isn't so hard. Oh, look at that. She promised you that she'd get the Magisterium in Geneva to allow you to join, even though you didn't have a demon then. But she was lying. 
Yes, true. That's what she said. True. Every word. And she has deceived me? I trusted her, and she deceived me? But in any case, when you've got me as your demon, you could join then and no one would argue. Yes. You're absolutely right. Then I must have you for my demon. There's only one way to do that. You must defeat Yurik in single combat. It won't work if he's killed by anyone else. But if Yurik Burnison is killed, won't you die as well? No. That's not how it works. If you kill him, I'll become tethered to you. But if you don't mind me telling you, Yurik is close, and maybe you'd better tell your guards not to attack him. If you're going to fight him for me, he'll have to be allowed to come to the palace. Yes... But then what? When he comes, I better pretend I still belong to him, and say I got lost or something. Are you going to tell the other bears about me being your demon, and then belonging to you when you beat him? I don't know. What should I do? I don't think you'd better mention it yet. Tell them you've invited Yurik Bernison here to fight him, even though he's an outcast. And the winner will rule over the bears forever. See, if you make it look like it was your idea that he's coming, they'll be really impressed. They'll think you can do anything. Yes. Yes. I must go and prepare for the battle. By this time, word had spread among the bears as the two warriors prepared for the fight. It was clear that Ragnar and Yorek were more than two bears. They were two kinds of leaders representing two futures, two destinies. Try to block his attacks, Yurik. Your armor is weak, Yurik. 
It will not withstand another of my mighty blows. Try to block his attack, Shira. This time, I will destroy you. Finally, through tooth and claw, the true king at last reclaimed his throne and further strengthened the bond he shared with Lyra. Her reunion with her father proved less satisfying, however. No! Get back! I didn't send for you! Anyone but you! No. No, I came to help you. Lord Asriel's reaction to Lyra's arrival was puzzling. He was visibly upset. Lyra, um... I came to give you the alethiometer and rescue you from the bears. Of course you did. Thorold, draw a bath for these two. And prepare them some food. Yes, my lord. It's all right, Lord. We're safe now. Come along, young sir. I want to thank you, Lyra, for bringing me exactly what I needed. Sleep well, daughter. Sleep well. That night, Lara was plagued by thoughts of her father. When she woke to her dear friend Roger missing, she feared the worst. After learning the horrible truth of her father's plan, Lyra and Yorick set off, hoping to reach Lord Asriel in time. Well, 
We've got to catch Lord Asriel. He's taken Roger and he's going to... I didn't think. Oh, Yurik, I beg you, go quick, my dear. I just can't imagine. I mean, he's my... It's... It's absolutely brilliant. Something is not right. Yurik, look, the witches! But wait, they're our friends. No, these are not Serafina Pekala's clan. Take cover! Why are they attacking us, Yurik? I don't understand. Stop him! Stay with me! I wish I had Sky on Earth. I just can't imagine. I mean, he's...
then. Don't worry. I will protect you. There's a battle nearby, and the bears need me. Stay hidden until I return. Stand strong! I will find a path to your side! Thank you. The East Gate will lead you to the heart of the battle. The Fire Hurler is the key to victory. Let no man stand against us. My brother is trapped beyond the West Gate. Will you save him?
I thought all was lost. Thank you. Few would risk their own life for another. Come, brave warrior. We fight together! I've failed you. Your brother has fallen. I'm sorry. The East Gate! Quickly! We must win this war! Steady, man! Stand your ground, man!
not too easy. I need your help. I cannot defend myself and prepare the fire hurler. Stay your course. I will see to the Tartars. is ready, and not a moment too soon. See there! The witches are attacking! Then it is our duty to stop them. Grab hold the chain! Stay on him, men! Set the fire hurler. We fight to the death.
the fire! The battle is far from over. Our brothers still clash with the Tartars and witches. We will go to their aid. Zeppelin crash. There is more fighting to be done. I told you to stay hidden until I returned for you. But what about Roger? I can't let anything happen to him. Come, I will take you to your friend. Lara and Yorek pushed on, close to their final goal. They both knew what had to be done. There are no words that can convey the powerful bond of friendship and love between Lara and Yorek. But it was Lara's journey now to continue on for both of them. She thanked him for all he had done, turned away from the world they knew, and walked into the sky.